Hi everybody. As I said earlier, I will make a 3D orange. It's a cute little ball and you could put it at the end of a pen or so because it's got like a little hole at the bottom. Or you can just like fill it up and stitch it together. But I'm just going to show you how to make this little eraser cover or something like it. Um, for this, you'll just need three pegs of your loom. So if you're sharing your loom and they're making a single, they can have this part and you can have this part. You will you don't really need your hook, but it's recommended. And four to, I would say, ten orange bands, um, just in case you like break them because it's a little hard i would say this is at an advanced loomer level but anybody can do this it's still a little easy just we make tons of slip knots so pretty easy that's why you need four because we make four slip knots and you'll need one green just for fun like at the end just to keep these ends together but you don't really need to and you also need two of my oranges that I made in my orange video. If you haven't watched that yet, um, you should watch it because that'll really help. But if I'll just make a quick run through. Um, you have a um, holding band right at the top. And then you have three going down and there, there. And then each side. And then you point down, green at the top. So that was my quick run through. It's very quick. So let's get on with this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the top two, like top four bands, other than the one going diagonal to the green, and just mm, grab them. Okay, and you're going to put them on that, on one of your pegs. Then you're going to take the four that are under there, do the same thing to the peg that's under, and then one more time. Ooh, this is hard. We're going to do that. Push them down. Now you're going to do this side. Um, same thing, just the other side of the orange. Otherwise, it'll look like a weird orange. Okay. Um, so you do that. And then you do the bottom. As I said, it's pretty hard. So if you mess up, just pause the video and do it again. But um, we're going to continue. So... Um, now, I'm going to flip it over, but you don't uh, flip my loom over. It's just easier uh, for me, but you don't have to. So we're just going to put, we're going to put a slip knot, like I said earlier. So you just, if you don't know how to make a slip knot, here I'll show you really quick. Oh, wait, okay. So you put your hook through all the bands and you hook your orange band on there. Uh, don't get any of the other bands because then it'll look weird. Uh, it gets a little wobbly, then just like it's okay. Won't really hurt anything. Oh man, my green got. Oh, there we go. Okay. And pull it tight, but make sure it doesn't break. That happened to me like three times. Okay, so now you're going to do the same with this one right here. This may be a little harder because like at the end, it, I don't know why, but it just sometimes comes off. That just happens a lot for me. Ooh, it didn't happen. But my loom is very wobbly. Sorry about that. Um, I'll show you. Okay, so then, okay. And then you take it 
out. You just do slip knot there, so pull it tight. I've got really elastic rainbow loom bands. Actually, these aren't rainbow loom bands. They are called loom bands, and you can find these at Hobby Lobby. Um, they just make really stretchy bands for some reason. A little more stretchy than rainbow loom. Uh, that, that's what I would say, but these are official rainbow loom and they're pretty stretchy. They just stretch out a lot See see the that it got a little smaller Okay So now that we're done with that Okay, just make sure that you're done now. You're just going to take the whole thing off They should be looped together. So if you tug they'd still be together and you see the See that hole right there? That's supposed to be there. Um, that could be where the pen, a pen or pencil goes through, or it could be through the top. It doesn't really matter. So you're going to do the same thing that you did for the other side. So you're just going to take it, and then you place it on the lip. Did I do that right? Um, yes, I did. Okay, now you're going to do that again. If And if you're really fast at this, you can do it fast, but... There. Oh, get back. Wait, did I... No, I just took it off. Okay. Um, so you do that. And then, okay, this part is kind of hard. If you hear my TV, I'm, there's new shows coming up and I just don't want to miss them. Uh, so, <laughs> that explains, wait, I'm just, okay, so do the same thing. Um, okay. There. Then you do the last one. And there. Did I do that right? No, I did not. Okay, so. Oh, oh, okay, just come off. I'll just redo the whole thing. Okay. There. Okay, so. I'm going to flip this around again. Wait, no. It's better this way. Sorry about that confusion. Confusion. Oh, oh I lost an orange band. There we go. Okay. It's kind of hard at this part because you gotta like squeeze your fingers through. Unless you like took a part off, then this should be easy for you. But it's hard for me because I don't share my loom. I have two looms. Just in case I want to make really big designs, which I haven't yet because I haven't came up with any ideas. Um, two. So if it helps, you can like do go to the other side. It's just a little harder because you've got all that green in the way. But sometimes helps. See, it just helped me because it was hard for me on the other side. So now this should be our last orange band, unless you um broke any bands. And you're just going to do the same thing, a slip knot. And if you want to like double knot it, then yeah, that's much safer. But if you don't really care and you just want like a double orange if it falls out, then that's fine too. And then, okay, and there we go. Sorry if I sound a little tired. It's, since it's Saturday, it's like a rest day for me, and I just get tired when I lay down all day. That's why I'm doing a little rainbow loom to get more exercise and all that. Fingers exercised. And now your orange is done. Then you take it off carefully. And then there. It may look a little weird um, if you want like you can cut off the extras or you can tuck it in. I'll show you how to tuck them in. It's really easy to tuck them in. You just gotta like, oops, oops. Okay, 
Oh, this is being more stubborn than it was. Okay, so what's easiest is to like twist it and like tuck it in, to tuck it in, but it's being stubborn for me, so I'm going to cut it off. You can cut it off too. Um, doesn't really matter. And this can also be like when you're not using your hook, you can do that or something. Just looks weird. This kind of looks more like a pumpkin when it's sprouting out than an orange, but if you want it like more round like an orange, then just like squeeze it like a stress ball. Then I'll get around. And then stick it on your pen or pencil. And that is my 3D orange. Um, so, oh, and for the green, I forgot to mention this. It's really easy. You also make a slip knot for this. So you just do this. It's a little hard. Like if you do rainbow loop singles on your fingers, then this shouldn't be a problem for you. But it's just like a slip knot, just on your fingers. And then you've got a long little stem, like this one. But um, at least it protects it and makes it more stiff. As you can tell, this is my first one. And I don't know why I put that C-clip there. Um, I just did that. I think it held together these um, bands. But like you can just tuck them in or do whatever you want with them. You can cut them. So that was my 3D orange video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope your pen eats oranges very soon or it can also be oranges for your stuffed animal. This was a failed attempt. It just didn't look right and then I couldn't do this because they were on backwards. So yeah. So have a nice day and I'll make more videos on fruits and animals soon. Bye.